How you going guys and uh, welcome back to another stream. Uh, today we're going to be doing talking a little bit about advanced building. Now I've started building a um, castle up there and I'm going to show you how I've gone about doing quite a few different uh, things for you. Um, I'm on my dedicated server so I have a dedicated server for my friends and I will probably um, open it up for the YouTube um, people in the future as well. <clears throat> so anyways, this is uh, one of the castles that I am building and um, I'm building it like somewhat central to where everything is uh, from the start of the game and and just a nice little place to put it up on top of a hill. But anyways, uh, we're going to get into some advanced building. So I've come down here and I've made a little area uh, I had to kill this wolf, so we'll grab his stuff so he disappears. So I've just like, made this little area for us to build in. <clears throat> Alright, so first off, obviously, we want to um, uh, grab our building pieces, and we can build around the altar just like so. Okay, so just to get a little bit of a, a framework happening here. So to build uh, some... Like the, you'll probably find like these. If I was to do like a half uh, block or a full block, so you got you can do full blocks and you can do half blocks. So there's a half block there. So if I wanted to do something like that, that's only a half block. But doing that uh, with the walls, like if we were to place a wall here. You can see now that the wall is not um, going to be in line. So to make that wall come towards you, hold hold Q and you drag it with the mouse wheel till it lines up like so. But say I didn't want to do uh, like I did it in a way like so we had it. So you can see how it joins like that. Sometimes you'll have uh, corner pieces that don't join well, and you. So these ones are joining perfectly fine. That's fine. But there is sometimes where they don't join the way we want them to join. So what I normally do is if they don't join up. So like for example, this doesn't join because, like it does join like that, but you kind of want something there. You can go to the two meter one and place the two meter one, the two meter piece on there. So that's, that's how you can do that. But also there is times where you will find where it just doesn't want to join at all. And in doing that, I have another piece. I did have a piece that did it. Um, that was up there. I could possibly go up and show you. But there will be times where... So, like, you get, like, off-centered off pieces like that, but you kind of want it like that. So, the way to join it into the other wall is we grab our small two-meter pillar, and then we place it in like so and that goes the same for uh, if you wanted to so th that's still the pillar so if I wanted to join off on the pillar I could do that um, like so now if I was to delete these pillars you'll find that's what I was trying to get before so you'll find that you'll build like that and you can't kind of join them so if you just get these small pillars or you can even use large pillars if you want so like if you wanted to use a large pillar come down here and grab number six on the large pillar and it will do the whole area and it'll kind of mesh into the wall like so uh, and that'll kind of give it a kind of a bit of a feature on the outside a little feature wall which isn't too bad now to get those battle eaves I'm not 100% sure what they're called so you can talk down in comments if you want there is a couple of different ways to do it you can do the large ones like I have done in the past so you just go like one, two, and then split them open like that. And then you get the uh, little like railing kind of one. Just lift that up just a tad and so on and so forth. And then I've done ones like this before 
I've also done the smaller variants, like so one like that, and then a couple of smaller uh, spots, so you can you do it like that as well. Uh, or this one that I have just done today, you actually use your windows. So you grab your window uh, wall and you place a couple of them down like so. Then you go up to the one meter one. Now this doesn't actually, this is where you can like kind of delete stuff. So you come up here and you pick a level that you want. I picked around the second one and you just hold rice, there, rice, right mouse button down all the way along. Now that didn't do what I wanted it to, so I just go and hit back in the spot where I want it, uh, where I want them to go back to. So just using the small one, you could just um, put the w window back there again and uh, off you go, if you wanted to do that. Uh, so this is how you can make some of these sort of things. So there's three different ways of making these. Uh, this looks better, uh, in my opinion, from a distance. Uh, I have done it the other two ways as well. So whatever one makes the castle look really, really good. Uh, so that's some of the major things that I have come up with uh, when it comes to uh, just a, some sort of advanced building. You can also build into the flame, so you, you can incorporate the flame as is. Uh, so yeah. So we'll go up and I will show you uh, up here what we've done with the castle. So again, this is on my server. This is uh, what I've done with my friend. Yes, it hasn't uh, got any legs, but it's going to pretty much incorporate the whole entire ground. Uh, so don't fret. This is just what it looks like at this time, at this point in time. So some of the walls, you can get features like that. So you've got like ribs um, coming off uh, the uh, bricks and stuff so you can kind of play around with it if you want to kind of keep that look and feel uh, with your thing or you can have it all enclosed uh, now you can see I've done the ribs the whole way along here but you can also keep it closed in nice and neat as well um, but yeah that's what I've done but to, to get rid of that if you want to do it nice and flush sort of wall uh, you grab your four meter and then you press five and you can kind of just uh, you might need scaffolding for this to get up there um, so if we do it up here on this ladder we might be able to do it here and you can just incorporate the uh, I wonder if uh, Q will do it yeah push, pushes it up a bit so you can incorporate this so if you need scaffolding you might need you might need it now, if it wasn't, so oh, I might be able to get it up here. You may need a few pieces uh, to get it actually set as well. And once it's set, then you can, um, or you can, you can really just do it with the single. Uh, so you go here one meter, and then you can I can incorporate it. So it's all, all incorporated. And as you can see, it just gives you bigger eaves, makes it look nicer. Um, just a little bit of detailing about it as well. So that's what I was trying to achieve. Um, but yeah, you, you can also smooth it out as well with other uh, corner pieces like so. Um, I think, yeah, uh, that's the roof pieces. But yeah, you can kind of incorporate it in um, in that way, shape or form. The other uh, cool advanced piece um, stuff that I've done is the incorporation of the stairwell. Now that is just using your pieces. Um, where have we got here? Where is it? The small one. So this will be under the two meters with uh, you press nine and then that'll give you like a little corner piece. Now I've done that on the side of the thing and then just chucked some walls there, basically to incorporate the whole stairwell. 
Um, and as you can see here with this stairwell, so we'll, we'll just rotate that. And then it just incorporates it straight into the stairwell. And then we can just go up the stairwell. And there you go. Now, to incorporate it completely, you just use the two meter bit of wall here. And that's it. And once that's done, that's incorporated into your stairwell. Uh, another cool thing that you can do uh, that I have done and my friend has done, so we have some scaffolding in here from when we are doing this room. I've just left it. Uh, but another cool thing you can do... Oh, we got another kiln there. That's all right. Uh, basically, you can build a mine into the thing. So this is underneath the... Uh, underneath the castle and we kind of have like a little exit here you can put like walls and stuff out and uh, incorporate some building pieces into the ground and some walls and pillars to make it look a little bit more nicer uh, so for example uh, we want to make this incorporated into the ground a little bit better so nine and then one Oops, that's not good. We can go that piece there. And uh, then one more piece there. So it just incorporates it into the ground a bit better. And it makes it look like it's actually meant to be there. So, But yeah, so that is the advanced building tips that I have so far. Uh, and with without any more like hexagon pieces or triangles or uh, hexagon... Just all those sort of things. You can't really... Um, can't really do anything. The other way, the other thing that I've done here is make made a like a little shelf. Um, so to do that is basically just placing two walls together, and um, so ba at, so you have one wall running across, and then you have the uh, the main wall running across the front of it. So in doing so, it would look like this. So you get a, a wall like so. And then I would, instead of having it join there like that, I would have uh, another wall on the side, just like that. So it makes like kind of a shelf sort of thing. But anyways, thanks guys for watching. And I hope that little short video helps you uh, do some uh, stuff uh, in the future for your castles. Um, yeah, so we'll take out the top real quick and uh, show you what the top looks like and uh, how I've done the... So this is going to be like a, a roofy type keep thing. And as you can see, I've got the battle eaves and like a, a real big one down there. And then I'll probably end up doing another one similar on the other side. I'm not too sure yet. Probably won't because down there is the shroud. But yeah, no, it's really done well. So thanks for watching. Hope you like, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.